Hi, my name is James Emerling. I'm a science education consultant at Oakland Schools in Michigan, and I'm an Open SciEd field test facilitator. This is unit 8.6, and I've been working on developing some remote uh, or some tools that may make it a little bit easier for teachers to teach remotely. But I think you'll also find some of these may be helpful even in a classroom setting. And so in this case here, we're going to take a look at the data cards for both Modern Penguins and Pedro in lesson one. And you'll see similarities to what we've got for the ancient penguin data set or data card, excuse me, in lesson three. Um, but the one thing that I want to show you here is um, while we do have all of these cards set up so that uh, kids can quickly uh, flip through them and get a sense of some of the data that, that we have that we can compare and that we can organize on some of these penguins. Um, one thing that they need is some help in how they can actually use this to help them organize the penguins. And so to do that, uh, I've just written some instructions, uh, but know that uh, it's a whole lot easier if they toggle between the film strip view and a grid view. And so you might look at them in this um, film strip view. Notice the film strip view has this list, you know, like a film strip over here on the left-hand side, and we get this big picture um, in the center where we can actually look at all the data. Then once we have a sense of, of how we want to move these, we can then click on the grid view here in the uh, bottom corner. And now that I know, I can move them around, right? I can shift them. Just grab, just click on it once, and you notice how there's a yellow uh, square around it, and I can drag it where I want it to go reorganize them any way I wish. I can also, back here in film strip view, I can add in slides as um, uh, spaces where I want to add um, information or my reasoning or that, that sort of thing, or even a title slide. And so just to do that in film strip view, I can click between the slides wherever I want to interject these ideas and add a new slide, bam, just like that. And now I can go in here and I can add whatever text I'd like, okay? And uh, again, um, this is true for both uh, lesson one um, data, uh, data cards and also in lesson three, looking at the ancient penguin data sets. So hopefully this helps.